combat class. You'll have everything that you need for combat. Uh, the last thing you'll have to do is create paths, and that's in the next tutorial. Now we'll go into some of the more advanced options. For example, auto-equip. Every time you loot a mob or you buy something from a vendor, uh, Raybot will check your inventory to see if that item is better than what you currently have equipped. And this panel is where you set the rules for what you consider to be better. So, for example, if I have, if I want to always improve my chest and I'm wearing leather because I'm low level right now and I want to target intellect because I'm a shaman oh, intellect. so what's going to happen is every time I loot a chest item or I buy a chest item or I gain one uh, from a quest Raybot is going to check your inventory to see if that chest item is better than what you have equipped it will check to see if the material matches the rules. So if you loot a cloth chest item, it will just skip it. It will next check the intellect on both items, the one in your inventory and the one you have equipped. If the intellect uh, value in your inventory is better than what you have equipped, you'll equip the one in your bag and de-equip what you're currently wearing. And again, this is uh, level specific, and uh, this won't change very much for you, so uh, most most people are fine setting it 1 through 40, for example. Okay, the next thing we have is the inventory management. And this is where you manage everything that's in your bag. And this is where you set rules for what you want to do when you return to vendors. So uh, the first thing you'll notice is the mule name. If you have a mule, which is basically a, a tune that you keep, in uh, Iron Forge or Ogremar to that uses the auction house or, or does something extra with your items. You put his name here, and when you run back to the mailbox, you will mail items to this mule. Uh, you'll notice here we have the items in your bag. This is the list of items in your bag which do not have a rule assigned to them. So once you assign a rule to an item, it will no longer appear here, even if it's in your bag. So I have a hearthstone, and there's nothing I want to do except just keep it. I don't want to ever mail it or sell it or delete it or disenchant it. So I'm going to add it to my keep list, and uh, here you'll see it moved over to the keep list. So next, let's look at the mail list tab. This is where you can set a list of items that you want to always mail to your mule. For example, uh, if you're a skinner, you might want to always mail your light leather, medium leather, leather, leather scraps, etc. to your mule. So this is where you set it up. If you want to mail, for example, all blue items, you can check mail all blues. And every time you go to the mailbox, every blue that's not VOP'd on you will be mailed to your mule. Here we have the sale list. This is the list of items that you always want to sell to the vendor. This could be gray junk that you loot. This could be specific items that you have no use for. Again, we have color rules as well, so if you want to sell all gray items, you just check sell all gray items. And next we have the delete list. And this is the list of items that you want to delete because there are a few items that are just crap and you can't sell them, you can't disenchant them, you can't do anything with it. So this is where you handle it and you add it to the delete list and every time you loot or you go to the vendor, Raybot will scan your inventory to see if that item exists. If it does, it's going to delete it for you. And again, you can apply rules. I don't recommend checking delete all purples, but it's your choice if that's the kind of person you are. And last, we have the disenchant list. This is for you enchanters. You can set up rules, again, all greens, blues, and purples. And finally is the open list. Uh, this can be things like those uh, the clamshells that you can loot off of some, some water uh, mobs. This could be for uh, crates that you loot for fishing. Put it here. When you loot the item, you'll automatically open it and get everything out of it. When you've got everything configured, you click Save List, and the rules will continue. Even if the item is no longer in your bag, let's say you've gotten rid of all your light leather, if you created the rule, it will still be here in the rule list. Next, we're going to go to the Talents list. Uh, Raybot has the nice feature when you level. Uh, it will automatically apply a talent point for you, and you set the rules for those talent points here. If you already have talent points assigned, you can click Current Talent Points, and it will show you the list here. And uh, I've played around with my character, so you can see I have some points already assigned to it. And
And uh, let's say that I want to create some rules like, I know this talent point doesn't exist, but let's say I want to uh, create enduring healing. Remember, this is level specific, so if you want five points, you need to apply it once per level. So now what will happen is when I hit level 10, I will apply the talent enduring healing and the same thing for 11, 12, 13, and 14. And you can just fill out this whole list and when you're done, click apply talents and the whole list will save for you. Now, let's say that you're level 20, you go to your trainer and you delete all your talent points and then you load Raybot. What's going to happen? The first time you run a bot, Raybot is going to go and check your talents and it will first apply all the talents up to your level. So it will apply all the enduring healings plus everything else you have up to your current level and then the bot will continue on as normal. And uh, that's it for the, uh, the more advanced settings. There are other options here that are covered in the documentation. We have things like HealBot, which is a totally different type of bot that will follow around a tomb. So let's say you've got a level 60 and you want to help power level a level 5. Uh, HealBot is the place to go and you'll set everything up here. You, you set the target's name, uh, the percent at which you want to heal him, your list of healing spells, a buff list, and so forth. And basically, you'll load Raybot on your level 60 or 70 Raybot is running. It will use those chatter rules that you set up.